are in the final weeks of the year 2020. Thank goodness for that. It's drawn so much disdain with the pandemic and everything, and to get through it, we've all found comfort in different things. And for many, that means certain foods. Mike Polk now has a look at what we've been ordering and why. The food delivery service DoorDash just released a national consumer survey detailing the top food trends of the year. And given that 2020 has been one of the most uncomfortable years in modern history, perhaps it's no surprise that the findings were dominated by comfort food. We're all familiar with the term, eat your feelings. Well, according to these results, Americans not only ate their feelings this year, they dipped them in ranch and blue cheese. The most ordered item of 2020 was fried chicken fingers, not to be confused with its slightly classier sibling, the fried chicken sandwich at number two, followed by mac and cheese, chips and guac, and apple pie. Because last time I checked, this is still America, where we order whole apple pies and have strangers drop them off on our porches, just as our forefathers intended. The study also revealed the top foods on the rise, led by sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits, omelets, carrot cake, and cinnamon rolls. I'm less disturbed by the fact that this list looks like what a convicted murderer orders as his last meal, and more by this odd shift to breakfast foods. Look, chicken fingers are one thing, but there's just something next level decadent about having Western omelets and biscuits sent to our homes. Seems like a bit of a red flag. Like if America were your friend and he was behaving like this, you'd call in to check on it. I wanted to bounce the findings of this report off of someone who's actually in the business. So I reached out to Chef Vic, owner of Sauce the City, located on West 25th, and recent winner of the title Best Chicken Sandwich in Cleveland. Uh, chicken fingers and chicken sandwiches were the two top spots. Have you found that trend to be true? That trend is absolutely true. People love chicken, and Cleveland loves its chicken. America loves comfort food. Food is definitely something that can be used, you know, just to brighten up people's days. It's just that one or two bites, that couple seconds of freedom, of love, of joy, of nostalgic feeling. It's impossible to say how much healthier we would have eaten in 2020 if not for all the depressing nonsense we had to deal with. I have no doubt many of us allowed ourselves the escapism of a more indulgent diet as a mild coping mechanism, and I don't think anybody should feel bad about that. But let's be honest, Ohio. It's not like if not for the pandemic, the top most ordered items were going to be kale and steamed beets. We are what we are. But my favorite statistic from that whole study is the 70 2% of Americans who are planning on eating healthier next year. Now, will they all actually do that? Of course not. Not even a fraction. Much like New Year's resolutions, it's just well-intentioned, wishful thinking that will not come to fruition. But that's not the point. The point is that 2020, for all of its horrors, didn't manage to knock the hope and delusion out of we Americans and our uncanny ability to convince ourselves that next year is going to be better, and so are we. This is Mike Polk eating some Cheddar Bay biscuits that I just had delivered for this piece and that I will be expensing to 3 News.